welcome again to another Tech Tip Tuesday video. Today we're going to show you a couple of different types of inventory transactions that you can do through data collection. So let's get started. One of the first things you need to do in order to use uh, data collection in Workstation Driver is to give different employees permissions. And that is done through the employee master file. To get to that, you're just going to go to System Administration and then choose the Employee function. I already have it opened up down below here, so I'm just going to select it from here. Here you can see we are entered in as Anthony Parker and we're right on the Labor Rate tab. The Labor Rate tab is where you set up those different permissions. As you can see, Anthony Parker down here has quite a few different things that he can do. We're going to be talking about two of the different types of permissions that you need, and that is purchase order receiving and then location transfer. So these two right here on the top. Now, as you can see, there's many more things you can do in data collection. We won't be sharing that in this Tech Tip Tuesday video today, but give it a shot. Try different things out. See how it can really help your shop to be a little bit more productive to get that data into Job Boss right away, right from the shop floor. Let's go ahead and jump over now to Workstation Driver and show you those different functions. I'm going to log in as Anthony Parker and click Start here and now we're logged in as Anthony Parker. On the left here is where you see the different transactions or permissions that we gave Anthony Parker that we just looked at. We're going to start by looking at uh, purchase order receiving, this little tile down below here. This is pretty straightforward. All I need to do is select the button here on the right to open up the fields below. I'm going to put in my PO number and tab off. If I don't remember what line on the PO we're receiving in, I can hit the magnifying glass here to the right of PO number to see the line numbers for the material ID that we're receiving in. We're just going to go ahead and select line 1. So I'm just going to hit the select button and we put in our quantity. Next I need to put in the location ID that we're going to be receiving these materials to. I can click the magnifying glass to locate my uh, location accordingly. I'm going to select A-11 and then all we need to do from this point is click the accept entry button and you can see I have now received in line 1 on PO number 1111 that quantity of 100. So it's very easy to receive items in on a purchase order. The next item I want to talk about is another transaction that's just a little bit further down here on the list and that is location transfer. So what we're going to do is transfer some material from one location to another. All I need to do is click the location transfer button, put in my material ID that I want to transfer, put in the source. I'm going to click the magnifying glass to see currently I have 200 pieces of 14 NOM at location T5. So I'm just going to select that and then what is my target location ID? I'm just going to type in T-6 and what is the quantity that we're moving? I'm going to move 100 of the 200 over to T6. All I need to do is click accept entry and now we've moved 100 from T5 to T6. And that's all we're going to show you here for today in this Tech Tip Tuesday video. Again, Make sure you use the uh, greatest potential you can in your data collection to really help your shop be more profitable and to be more productive on the shop floor. Thank you again for watching today and we look forward to sharing another Tech Tip Tuesday video here with you soon.